DC's dance scene. DC's dance scene is very non-existent. It's, I mean, it's here, but it's not here. Um, it's very small. It's not like Philly. It's not like New York. It's not like Chicago. You know, but it's not a, it's, I mean, I don't say this to be a bad thing because I'm in the DC, <laughs> clearly I'm in the DC um, dance scene. But I will say that, um, you know, DC's dance budget you know, sorry, uh, arts budget is roughly, I think the last time I checked around $50 million, which is one of the highest uh, dance, I'm oh, sorry, arts budgets in the U.S. Um, however, dance only is about 2% of that budget, you know, and so that tells you that a lot of dance is not really funded in the city, um, but there are also not a lot of entities in the city. Um, you have dance plays, you have Washington Ballet, you have Dance Loft, you have Joy of Motion, you have... Um, Joe's Movement Emporium, that's not far, um, as far as nonprofits that, um, you know, that, that serve the community in Goma Center for Dance, which is, uh, Dissonance Dance Theaters, um, uh, parent organization, you know, is also a, a part of that group. And then there's like, um, you know, probably about at least a good 80 dance, uh, dance studios, in the area that also serve as well. And then there's also um, community, you know, spaces like the Boys and Girls Clubs of America that's in, you know, in Washington, D.C. and around that also serve. And then there's also churches that also have spaces. So, I mean, the, you know, the, the scene, there's a lot of spaces to take dance as far as as a child. But once you turn 18, D.C.'s dance scene gets real small. Um, and a lot of opportunities do not hit um, or, or aid dancers once they turn 18, you know, um, we have begun a trainee program, um, real, I guess, re revamped our trainee program to assist, um, uh, some dancers. I've had some dancers that were in the school that are now, you know, past 18 that are coming back around and, and, and they're lost. They don't know necessarily where to go and they're looking for something local. And so now we're trying to, uh, create new programs, um, to assist them as well as others who are in the area at that age. Because, you know, you can still dance, you know, 18, 24, even 28. You know, it just depends on how bad you want it, and you're going to have to get the training to get there. And if you can't really sit down and be honest with yourself about how hard you really want to work, then you shouldn't be in this industry. Like, it, that, well, that's just say like any industry, because you really need that type of uh, tenacity to push through, especially if you're starting the game late, Um and you need to be clear on exactly what it is you want so that you don't waste any more time. Um, but DC is, is um, a conundrum because there's spaces where there's opportunities, but there is, is really a lot of gatekeepers. And a lot of spaces um, don't really allow a whole lot of African-American activity. And when it does, it gets very political. So, you know, it's just about, if you're going to have to save yourself, you're going to have to save yourself in DC. <laughs> you're going to have to save yourself. You're going to have to push. You're going to have to like uh, find a way for yourself to to make it and as well as others. So I, I personally, I've assisted probably about four or five into, you know, dance entities or um, ensembles um, create their spaces in the area. I've um, done a lot of consultation for free, assisting. Um, you know, some dance spaces, some of them are older, some of them are younger, um, to get their first grants and to understand how to finance and do the art of, of business and dance. Because um, I really believe that, you know, DC can be very frightening and, and a lot, especially if you're not white. Um, and you, you know, you might not feel that you're being seen or appreciated, but um, I'm here to tell you that, you know, keep your chin up. You know, there are those here that I wish to see you thrive. Um, just get to the people that support you. Because um, DC, I believe, can be a wonderful space. It was at one time. It, I mean, it's a nice place now, but it could be even bigger and better um, with more with more hands um, at the table. Um, so, yes, yeah, so, I mean, so that's DC in a nutshell. You know, very political. Um, 
you know, a, a lot of uh, recreational and community dance, but not much in the way of professional dance. But I really believe that that's going to turn around and dissonance is helping to make that happen.